TNT Tropang Giga versus Barangay Ginebra San Miguel Jin Kings. Game 5 Finals. Who will win this thrilling game? It's the NBA. Welcome to our Sunday night broadcast here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. We've got the visiting team and the home team. Now the starting group for the visitors. Hollis Jefferson with it. Launches it. Thompson with the rebound. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Brown lead. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. He's covered by Thompson. Yeah. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. On the wing, Thompson. Rebound. Holt. Plays it up off the glass. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Here's Hollis Jefferson. A shot, no good. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. The rebound by Little General. On the wing, Thompson. Here's Little General. And clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Yeah, easy first call. Personal foul. First team foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Peters, number five. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. There's Hollis Jefferson. Hits it from three-point range. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive scene. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Offensive rebound and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Hollis Jefferson's got five. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. 
And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Yeah, good job to take it right at him. At the line for the Gators. Number seven, two shots. First one falls for him. Good on both. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Pass to Holt. That's tipped. Here's Castro. Good D by Johnson. And his defense, so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Dimes, no good. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Out to the right wing. And it's blocked. They get it back. That evens the score. Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson's got his third bucket of the night. Hollis Jefferson's gone three of five, shooting from the floor. Bye. Holt. Another miss for him, now shooting one for four from the floor. There's the lob to the hoop. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And the defense to start Holt. that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. Here's Castro. The shot will not fall. Oh! Oh, goodness. What a finish with the reverse dunk. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. The visitors with the ball. Four-point game. From the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. This guy, a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive, scoring the ball. The pass to Thompson. The tray bangs on the trifecta. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives them so much room to operate on the offensive end. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Let's give them a round of applause for Florida Gators dancers. That's Dallas Jefferson. Over to the left wing. Thompson with the rebound. Brownlee tries again. Aguilar, the tip in on the offensive rebound. How about the anticipation and the timing there? He is all over it. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Five points in the game. Oh, nice, strong drive there. If that's who's going to be guarding him, then he's got some weight to throw around. Pass to Thompson. Takes a three. Hits the three-point bomb. Thompson's got six. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Arc 
in shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Here's Little General down low. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul, second team foul. At the line for two. No good on that one. Okay, that one. Passes it to Castro. Now, Hollis Jefferson. Shot clock at five. Got a piece of it. Here's Holtz, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. One easy look. Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. The pass to Hollis Jefferson. And it goes down Hollis two Jefferson. points. Hollis Jefferson's got nine points. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Nice shot by Thompson. Thompson. How about the burst in that first step? Just right to the rim. Thompson's gone three for four here from the field. That's to Castro. And here's Hollis Jefferson with the shot. No, it doesn't go. His fourth miss in eight attempts. Here's Dimes. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Inside. With the fadeaway. Tony. He's got six. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. There's Castro, and it's blocked. And so out of bounds it goes. So they retain possession. One thirty-seven left in the first quarter. From deep three-point land. The shot comes out. Pass to Dine. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. It's from close range. And, you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Cans it from Hollis downtown. Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson's got 12. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Brownlee. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And it's Hollis Jefferson with the jam. Assisted. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Since <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Brownlee nailed from three-point land. Just three Eight points for him. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. 
And what surprises me is the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. That has been their preferred weapon tonight. Now, Hollis Jefferson. Right wing. A fadeaway. And no good in the last second attempt this time. That's the end Nomination of the first in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. The Gators. They lead the by 13. The Gators. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? The offense firing on all cylinders. They dominated that first period. That's exactly the start you want. You take complete command. Now you've got to maintain that focus. Passes it to Holt. Here's Dimes. And the pass to Holt. And there's the whistle. Three, Three second Three violations. Seconds. He's covered by Thompson. Pass to Castro. of space and that one was good and so here's the home team Thompson outside up again he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points and now that's 11 points for Dimes. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. And he stepped in the line, so they turn it over. For the ball. Substitution for your Gators, Jeff McLeod. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Here's Dimes, 11 points in the game. Can't get it to fall. Passes to Castro. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds now tonight. And that one is stuffed right through. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. It's his first trip to the line. And he's good on the first of three. And he sinks the second.
And he nails the third. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. There's the pass to Aguilar. Not going to go that time. Pass to Ball. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Fans, please give a big round of applause for your new fifth squad. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Back to Thompson. This is it to Hollis Jefferson. Let's it go with a three. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. Just doing what he can. He's competing and he's converting. And he has really kept them in this one. A high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. Gators foul. Aguilar. Second personal foul. Second team foul. He's made all three of his Shooting free throws so far. Hollis Jefferson. Two shots. That free throw good from Hollis Jefferson. He hits both from the strike. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Roundly covered by Hollis Jefferson. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Six points for him. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Deflects the pass. Pass to Bowling. Back to Hollis Jefferson. Basket counts. Hollis, Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson's got 24 points. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficiently. Roundly, and there's the pass to Aguilar. Left of the wing. To the paint. Jacks up a three. They get it back. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And you can sense them just starting to squeeze and shrink this lead a little bit. Baller pass to Hollis Jefferson. Connects from three-point range. Hollis Jefferson. 27 points for him. 
Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. Brownlee. Off target from outside. It's a close game here in Chicago. To the left wing. For the three. It's good from long range. Number 16. Three points. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Wow. First team wow. Foul. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Your Gators, number four. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And so he hits both. Still anybody's game at this point. And no question, this is when you really have to have trust on the floor with each possession. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taking seven shots, a solid 57%. Well, you like how aggressive he is in making a play at the rim against Lynn. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? He lobs it up, and it's Thomas Jefferson with the jam. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Here's Aguilar, and down it goes, jamming that one home. Impossible to stop the putback when he's got that kind of position. Agreed, Greg. Let him get his hands on it inside and finish it off. How about the activity level, the effort level? This team right now feeding off his energy. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. He's got 29 points. Down to five on the shot clock. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Pass to Aguilar. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. No hesitation at all on the alley -oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Baller misses. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Stolen. And here comes the break. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. First personal foul, third team foul. At the line for the games, number seven. First free throw is good. Both teams will make substitutions. Oh, 
both good from the line that time. Pass to Holt. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5 for 8 clip. And that's just an, a, taking advantage of some soft defense on that drive. A little resistance for him on the way to the basket. Here's Baller. This is. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big time asset defensively. Here's Maverick. He has yet to score. Just four to shoot. Brownlee, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Two minutes remaining. Here's Baller. And that's good for two. Pass to Dyer. Ball's not loose. Here's Baller. Off target at the rim. Dimes pulls it in. Dimes got his fifth rebound in this one. Round lead. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Here's Baller. Shoot. Makes it off the glass. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. The pass to Holt. Brownlee gets the three-pointer to fall. 19 points in the game. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Inside. Great communication on the alley-oop. The assist. Number seven. There's 21 seconds left in the first half of the game. And he drives in. Good work there as it goes. Number four. He's got six. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. There's Alice Jefferson. Dines pulls it in. Dines got his sixth rebound on the night. And the jumper is on the mark. Boy, once he gets going like this, he becomes unstoppable. And that concludes the first half. Up eight. We step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Taking a look at this home squad. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. They're running the offense beautifully this one. They're looking for good looks. The confidence looks sky high. It's going to be hard for that defense to disrupt their flow. This How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? Right now, this game is being won and lost on the glass. When another team is out muscling you, sometimes you have to punch more guys in the back. Seat. Quantity can match quality if you can also be aggressive going after the basket. <laughs> And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. We've got the little general. He's out there with Thompson. And it's Aguilar at the center filling out the middle. Shoots from the right block. 
And there's a slam dunk to finish it off. And that's rocking the rim. Give him the two points and tack on some for style. Oh, he deserves them. He deserves all the points he can get there. Sensation. Here's Baller with the putback. Great positioning on the putback. Baller's got eight points. Well, not sure who was responsible for the blockout, but this guy got in there and dug out his points. They've got dimes. Little general out there with Thompson. And it's Holt in at the small forward position. And he gets it back. Bucket six. And Thompson throws it down. A oh, oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Pass the ball. Here's Alice Jefferson. And the officials are calling the illegal screen right there. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue for that pick wasn't Number illegal. 16. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set to see that it isn't called more often. Here's Little General. Passes to Aguilar. Here's Little General. And the jumper falls for him. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Number eight. Good on the triple. And the home team has possession. Thompson up top. Ten points for him. A nice shot by Little General. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101. Number the boy is time out, time out. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Yeah, he needs to tell Tied his guys to just box out with some energy. That, that, that's basic basketball. Make some noise. Little General's gotten three of his four shots to fall, hitting 75%. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Buries the jump shot. Hollis Jefferson's got 31 points. But he is so efficient, so productive. But for them to have real success, he needs help. Down low, Aguilar. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Now the pass to Castro to the left side wing. Hollis Jefferson, Ronnie good. Hollis, Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson's got five points now in the quarter. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. It's stolen. Roundly, and he takes that one up and powers it through. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the impact stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the NBA is looking to expand its footprint and a franchise south of the border could potentially hold tremendous appeal. Commissioner Adam Silver said Mexico City is the largest city in North America. It could also be a gateway to all of Latin America. The opportunity to flip a switch in terms of opening up a large geographical area to NBA interest. Kevin? Mm, that's interesting. Thanks, David. Drills the three-pointer. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Hollis Jefferson, good. Here's Dimes. One points in the game. 
13 feet away. That one's no good. Takes him to 10 for 15 for the game. Ripped away. Brownlee sinks the three-pointer. He's got 24. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Buries it from three-point range. Hollis Jefferson's got 40 points. And that's his game. Ignore the D. Focus on what you do and knock down that triple. And it ends up out of bounds. No keep possession. Here's Holt. Pushing it up. Here's Williams. Great pass to set up the lay-ins. And that's got to happen if they want to have a chance to turn this thing around. I mean, he needs to just take the game over. I mean, it seems like he's been hesitant to pull the trigger. Nice touch there near the hoop. Castro passes to Williams. A reverse, and the layup is good. Williams has got his second bucket. You won't see many better finishes than that. Goes under the bucket, takes the defender completely out of the play. He's guarded by Williams. Williams with the block. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. Guarded closely. It's blocked. Cloaked loose. And here's the break. Here's Castro. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. And made possible by a heads-up play defensively at the other end. Throws it up high. Williams with the block. The jumper from the corner and nails it. Here's Thompson. He's got 16. And it's denied. Here's Hollis Jefferson. And he gets the bucket. Hollis Jefferson's got 42 in the game. Williams. It's been a pretty tough stretch for them. And this will be an important possession. It's really essential. They put a stop to this run. And the best way to do it is by great execution. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Out to the wing. Shoots. And off the front iron. And out, in it out. goes. Hollis Jefferson's got 15 points here in the second half. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call. Here's P. Ask a Holt. Passes it to P. Lock at six. In the third. Two minutes. To the wing on the left. Here's D. His three-pointer is off the mark. Got his hand out enough on that one to bother the three-point attempt. Great hustle on that one. You know, we talk about this time and time again. Trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Here's P. Foul pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the first line. Personal foul, first team foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Line for your beaters, number 10. Two shots, relax on the first. 
first. And he makes the first. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. 136 left to play in the third. It's intercepted. He's guarded by Williams. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Reyes, the pass to Castro. Thomas Jefferson. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Maverick. No scoring in this one. Pass to D. Fouled on the shot. Picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. At the line for your Gators, number 31. Here's Alice Jefferson. He's got 44. There's 42 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Williams finds Alice Jefferson. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Here's P. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Number four. He's got eight. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. When you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. That's well, how about the effort on the glass? Even with this lead, I love that they're still going after it. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. They lead by 13. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver, and he did just that. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Shoots from 12. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen 
makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's P. And the layup's good off the glass. Well, this is what he does. Find ways to make his presence felt, and this time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. And what an alley -oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And there's the pass to Matt. Now here's Thompson. Here's P. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. P's got four points this quarter. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. Defense right on him. Inside. Here's Reyes. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Hollis Jefferson. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. Here's D. It's tipped. to the paint. Here's Castro. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Well, hit a man in stride. That is a textbook delivery. Pass to D. Thompson outside. No good off the back of the rim. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. And this is what the really good defensive players do. They anticipate and they're rarely fooled. Yeah, outstanding ball. job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. So it's both teams making substitutions here. That free throw good from Hollis Jefferson. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Dimes. Here's P. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for two. Number 10. one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. Their usual strong work at the line has been on display here tonight. But then again, they almost never have an off night at the strike. Passes it to Castro. And the shot clock. A baseline J. And too long on the shot. 
Here's Holtz, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. The best, Darius. And here's Hollis Jefferson. Headshot off. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Little generally so checked in for Pete. On the court. Here's Castro, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Shooting for Florida, Castro at the line for two. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Timeout, timeout. Timeout, four. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the home team had some words for the team during the break. He told him it's all about maintaining the lead. He told him he knows it's easy to get comfortable when you're in this position, but that they need to keep the pressure on. Guys? Thank you, David. Left of the wing. Here's Holt. I got one. Here's Castro. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Uh, and that was the right call. When, when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Right through the D for the layup. Assisted by number seven. Just a tiny lead for him. And a chance to make it a little bigger right here. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. It's deflected. He's covered by Thompson. To tie it up. That one does not go. It puts him at 5 for 9 from the field. Little General, the pass to Aguilar. No good on the 3. Inside. Got a piece of it. One on one here. It's deflected. You know, one of the Second shot opportunity. Unable to get that one. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Holt, another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. A contested mid-range shot can't be what they were looking for there. Well, especially with that defensive player in the area. You know he's going to find a way to get into the shooter and make him uncomfortable. Five. 
Thompson passes to Holt. Fires for three. A nice shot by Little General. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Time out, time out. Time out for it. player of the game and he's just been crushing it from the field tonight Kevin whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him he just hadn't missed much with his percentage in the sky high range they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip got double digit rebounds now in the game. Roundly covered by Hollis Jefferson. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound and doesn't take any chances there with the put. Jay strong work all around in the rebound and the stuff ball. Wow. Puts up a deep three. Get it again. The layup missed. To the left side wing. Thompson outside. Pass to Little General. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. He pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. To stop the run, and he sinks the way. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Down low, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Number five. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop, and he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Who's back up? And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Second personal foul, fourth team foul. Shooting for Florida. Number seven, taking two shots. First one drops, and that brings them within single digits. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Timeout for the Gators. A minute 50 left to play in the final quarter. And Thompson launches it from deep. Here's Holt. Plays it up and beats it in. 20 points for him. Well, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. Here's Little General. And it's blocked. And that goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Oh. 
There's 126 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Brownlee covered by Hollis Jefferson. Brownlee good on the three-point shot. Hip works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. 59 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Little General. Does not get it. Third miss. He's made four from the field. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. Traps in the tray. Hollis Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson's got 57 points. This game looks like they've got it just about wrapped up. Yeah, just got to work that clock and take care of the ball. From deep. Good. Castro. And now they trail by just four. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing Number under eight. control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. 32 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Gators. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And he ends up making the second, and that puts them up by five. And looking for a very quick shot here. You've got to run a play that's a quick strike. You've got to immediately foul after that. Time out, time out. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. To me, more often than not, when you attack, these things happen. One second separate in the shot clock in game. So they foul intentionally. 14 foul. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. He knew what was riding on those foul shots and didn't mess around, making this a two-possession game. Tires from deep. Yes! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch. And he's got it going right now. That's who they want to take him. The big shot. Yeah, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. Boy, it doesn't get much bigger than that. A perfect trip to the line to give them the critical three-point cushion. What poise. He's covered by Thompson. To tie it up. Count it! Number eight. And, oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. The Swinging the, the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ballgame. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. How 
Thomas Jefferson passes to Castro. The time for the ball. There's the steal. Here's the little general. Bye. This. To take the lead, it's deflected. The 11 footer from downtown buries the long range jumper. The three points in the game. Well, good vision from the inside and kicking it to the perimeter. We play just over a minute here in OT. To the paint, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Now, I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And, and they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Hey, fans, who wants a free T-shirt? Make some noise! Substitution for your Gators, Aguilar! Covered by Hollis Jefferson. Thompson with it. And the three ball is good. Thompson's got 21. And that's just too much space to give a shooter like him. He works to get open, but the defenders have to work harder to nullify it. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in in the circuit. Mm, so smooth. Overtime in full swing here. Two minutes off the clock. Offline with his three. Didn't hesitate for a second to, me, to get a hand up on that deep ball. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. Good to see a player going all out in the games this time. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Control the offensive glass. And that's so demoralizing to your opponent. To play great defense and have the possession end that way, that's tough to take. Here's Aguilar, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. for being a great free throw shooter and you've got to knock them down he does it here Alice Jefferson in the post pass to Castro tries it again it's blocked Passes to Aguilar. Softly drops in the floater. Dimes got 30 points. Oh, such a field shot there, the floater. Good! Number what 16. a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. 52 seconds left to play in the first overtime. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Times pulls it in. And his lateral quickness really allows him to stay in front of the shooter there and challenge the shot. And this is the key. In this game, you've got to be able to move your feet to be successful on the defensive end. Brownlee. 
It's good. Justin, looking to out. close it out. Yes. That one might have been Stop. the back break. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it Time would take a years. real collapse to give this game away at this point. To the left wing, there's Hollis Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson. And he has brought them to within two points. And the home team has possession. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Second team foul. At the line for your Gators, number He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. He's able to hit the second one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Guys, what do you think? And it's do or die time. Now, they need a bucket here to stay alive. Let's it go from deep, right between the eyes. A tremendous three to tie it up. Boy, I don't think he'll get a screen assist for that pick, but they get the points, and that's all that matters. Here's little general for the win. He beat the buzzer. <laughs> So the home crowd treated to a win. They escaped with a victory, although they needed an extra period to get it done. Yeah, but what a great game. I mean, both teams, I felt like, gave it their all. But when it came to OT, it was just all about sheer determination on their part. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.